finally, uh, what I'd like to talk about is Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin has had a magnificent run this year. It got down below 4,000 in uh, March during the coronavirus crisis. And uh, we know very well, went through a lot of growing pains uh, 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 in that time, and I think is uh, better for it. Uh, and I mean the entire ecosystem, including the exchanges that at one time allowed 100 times leverage. Um, I don't know if that's still going on, but uh, those who were 100 times levered uh, in March, uh, they, they no longer have their businesses. So I think governance is becoming better in the space which is all to the, all to the good. Uh, we have written uh, two white papers, specifically Yasin Almandra, our crypto analyst has, and um, one of them examines uh, whether uh, uh, institutions are ready for Bitcoin uh, and uh, also asks the other question, is Bitcoin ready for institutions? And uh, you know, we think one of the reasons that uh, Bitcoin is appreciating is uh, institutions are dipping their toes in. Now, they're doing this not just from an investment point of view, but from a corporate cash point of view. Um, some of you may know that MicroStrategy has converted all of its cash, the cash on its balance sheet, uh, into Bitcoin. Uh, Square has done that uh, with, I believe it's 5% of its assets, no, 1% of its assets, 2% of its cash. Uh, and I believe we're going to see other companies doing that as well. Um, we know that PayPal uh, also announced, so it is uh, following Square and Robinhood and allowing the purchase and sale of Bitcoin. Uh, PayPal is, uh, you know, a much more conservative, more old world company than either Square or Robinhood. So again, some, some validation there, seal of approval uh, of sorts. Uh, and uh, the paper that Yassine wrote uh, describes what would happen if institutions decide that a 5% a allocation to Bitcoin is appropriate. And the reason, and, and really that number is uh, closer to the 6% uh, range, the way we wrote the paper. But the reason 5% is important to me is I saw real estate um, entering pension funds uh, in the 70s, and they went to, started with 1%, migrated to 5%. We saw emerging markets, many uh, pension funds and institutional investors um, moving into emerging markets as MSCI developed that classification and uh, moved from 1% to 5% and wherever they are now. Uh, and we think the same thing is going to happen with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. And if it does, and if it's say just with Bitcoin, and we've got that 5% allocation, somewhere in the four to 6% range, um, that if, if that were to happen and all institutions were going to do it, of course, that's not going to happen, uh, but some might add more. Uh, so offsetting those who don't participate at all, uh, that would add somewhere uh, uh, between 400,000 and 500,000 to the Bitcoin price. We're at 20,000 right now. Now that is not gonna happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen for years, uh, but if we're on our way, it is going to be a very pleasant journey.